you're sitting down to play some games in order to find out who wins. Mm. And we'll Very have to true. see who Very does true. that between Steve and DD right now. Yeah, uh, my knowledge on this matchup is... Oh, wait, is this Zepro? Oh, damn. What? <laughs> Mixing them up the whole time. All right, my bad there. I honestly, uh, it's my first time meeting either of those players, but Sepro was also in that doubles grand finals. Rob into Palatena. This is one of the matchups that I've heard Rob <coughs> Paris players complain about a lot because Palatena can just nair like five times in a row in this matchup and has a lot of answers to Rob's tools. But Sepro, no slouch himself, so we'll, we'll see To be happens. honest, Palatina can do that to pretty much any character. That's this it. This is true. This is true. This if, is true. If I know Steve well enough, I do think I do. He is definitely much more comfortable playing Sepro <gasps> instead of... Oh, no. Wow. Never mind. Never mind. He is not comfortable with that. Yeah. That was a clean stock coming in from Sepro off the bat. Yeah, you know, this is exactly what you wanted from <laughs> Sepro, showing that, hey, I'm really good at this game. I am good at this game, and you should respect me, so I'm going to zero to death you there. Finds a beautiful kill there. And I was just going to say, like, Steve has much more Wario practice than he does, I mean, much more raw practice than he does Wario. Mm. So he should be a bit more familiar with those setups, oh. but not quite. He's getting juggled by the down tilt, by the gyro into the bear. Wow, less than a minute in, and we are two quick stops deep. Sepro really saying, I made this trip from down under to Korea, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm, not, uh, what I'm all about. And I said Steve had Rob experience, but this is definitely something out of his comfort zone. What's He's never seen a Rob be able to do this much. What Sepro is doing so well is just continuing to bully Steve into the corner, putting him in bad disadvantage situations, and Steve's just not being able to find a single starter, but does find that side beat from ledge. Landing there is going to save Sephra out of that situation. Another thing I earlier noticed, uh, which was causing Steve some trouble, was grabbing the gyro was actually throwing off his own neutral because right. he was more focused. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Wow. Talk about sending a message on that first game. Huffs, I know what it feels like in these situations to be Steve. And for the men pull, you just really got to reset. Say that game was a throwaway. Mm -hmm. Who cares about that first game? Let me try again in the second game. Play my game plan. Go on my counter pick. You're going to play on my terms. See what I can do. <laughs> that was a very hurtful thing to throw away. The game one of a best of three. Yeah. Not a best of five. So Steve has some quick adapting to do. If he wants to take this set and move on through the bracket in winner's side. But it's looking very good for Sepro. Yeah, no doubt. We are going to go to Town and City, so the platforms should assist in comboing and getting out of combos. Yeah, well, if you're Steve, if you're a Palutena, you want to see those nair da 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 dangs. <laughs> and so you can get those combos going in. So far, not finding a single nair, but instead he is finding some fair chains. And Here's Steve's oh. confidence. Looking at Steve's confidence with these combos <coughs> opening up, taking 92% oh, really unanswered there. But here, as I said, Doing too much around the gyro and just losing options, but Zed drops it there. And I, I can only speak comparatively, but compared to our resident uh, Rob main in Nas, Sepro is playing much more aggressively with the falling nares from way up top, mm -hmm. and just approaching with fares and going for aggressive downers as well. I'm pretty sure that's what's throwing off Steve as well. This is not the Rob experience that I've had so far. Mm -hmm. Good nice match out there. Oh. Oh, a bit of a skirmish, but nobody gets hit, and now that we're both on center stage. And there we go, Great Sepro work. once again just approaching, this time with the falling up air, didn't quite find the mark, which leads to a lost stock from his, but still. Very different gameplay we've seen from Nas, I mean, from Sepro compared to some other robs that we're more familiar with. Mm -hmm. Almost finds that ledge trap there earlier. And uh, Steve looking a lot better than that last game. As I said, you know, it's one of his early sets of the tournament, probably is in, was in his head a little bit, and now looking a lot more like normal Steve. Ooh, oh. except normal Steve gets clipped by that side B, and just as we were talking about in the last set, vacuum cleanered into it. Mm -hmm. If you're not careful during the ledge at high percentage, you are going to just lose your stock just like that. Oh, Steve this time trying to go for an aggressive play up top. It was not a really cool either. creative combo start there off of the down air to go from the down air to that. Oh, and Rob with Gyro on hand is a scary thing, and Steve doesn't wants to find his way away from the Gyro. He picks it up. Let's see what he can do with it. Not quite. He does find a Nair, though. 
Hey, Gabe Bubblegum, such a good song. Oh, and Steve just patiently wow. standing on ledge with Holds the shield. Holds the ground. On. Steve, uh, sorry, Sephiroth wanted Steve to push a button there. That time, Steve does it, cut, finishing a button in the corner. Uh, at least, uh, aggressive or not, Rob down throws setups are pretty consistent. So as long as you can match out of the brewery fast enough, you'll be safe. And Steve, of course, loves to throw out those bears invincible on the shield parts. And if those hit, those are very strong as well. Takes a second stock. Oh, but that's going to be quite the deep scar for Steve as he loses his second stock right away. Steve did get a little bit fancy there, trying to do a teleport ledge cancel right into the arms of Rob, unfortunately. And now, Sebro is just trying to put on this pressure, but instead gets caught up in Steve's. Oh, but he gets found by the tip end of that Nair. That's Palutena's own vacuum cleaner. Oh, but still falls into the laser to get a ton of damage in. And now Sephiroth is kind of mixing up his game plan. He's playing a lot more patiently. Still anybody's game in this scenario. Steve doing a great job applying that pressure and keeping that percent lead. And Steve wanted to go off stage to hit a fair or a bear, but he remembered what happened at the last stock of game number one. Trying finding some restraint. Ledge trap. Nope. Nice explosive wow. flames coming out of the ledge. That's a Steve signature move. Explosive flame from ledge. That is true. Oh, and that teleport cancel to Sephiro is so ready for it, but Steve still dodges ah. his way out. Oh my god, he dodges up there too. I think he also wanted to go for a, a platform there, but the platforms were moving. Sephiro is just running around the stage. Oh my gosh, what Point is he doing? Point flying neutral B. Ledge trap, what happens here? Again, the side B from the ledge. All right, there. This is a certified oh. plancher moment here. If you're both players, you're really scared. And you're Palatina has such a potent... Uh, two framing to him down tilt, but he's not has been going for it. Probably because Rob has so many options off stage, he can mix up the timing. He can go for an up air as well. There's the down tilt. As, <gasps> as I was him saying, through the stage. <coughs> Darn, yeah, town and city, nice and skinny stage. So he gets sharp by Rob's long, long arms. All right, Steve, that was a splash special. You shouldn't get hit by that after so many times I've done that to you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. But that said, very strong showing from Sir Pro. You yeah, and good stuff to Steve. <coughs> you know, given that first mm -hmm. game being a little bit of a wash, that second <laughs> game going to such going the distance, really. Very true. And who knows if it was a best of th five, what would have happened. But yeah. unfortunately, that is not the case. Steve will be going to loser's bracket. But right Sir Pro right. advances to winners. Should hopefully still have a chance to redeem himself in the loser side of his 